Good Tuesday morning, everyone. We're out here at Aardvark Automotive, standing next to Mr. James Sykes, who's going to be helping us, or he'll be teaching me, how to change the oil on his BMW. So they found the most expensive car for me to work on, and I've never worked on a car before, <laughs> but up there. So let's go ahead and get underneath it and tell us a little bit about what we'll be, what you'll be teaching me right now. Well, we're going to be draining oil on this, and one of the things that you need to do while you're changing your oil, it's a good opportunity to look at the bottom of the car, check for leaks, stuff like that. Well, it looks pretty solid under here. So we'll... Now what is this happen? What is this right here? What are we doing? This is the drain plug. Okay. This is, this is what we'll... Uh, there it goes. And this is catching the oil when it comes out, correct? Right. And there's a pretty good chance that probably get a little bit wet. With what? With oil. Okay. So just, <laughs> just get, brace yourself. <laughs> yeah, just brace yourself. Okay. Yep, there it goes. Well, that wasn't too bad. And what, now this is all old oil that's coming out. And, exactly. And it, where it goes into here? Yes, sir. And once it's done in here, where do you guys take it? We have a container out back that we store it in. Okay. And, you know, how long does it usually take for the oil to completely drain out of the vehicle? Uh, I usually let it drain for five minutes or so, make sure everything gets out of there. Now, you know, you talk, we were talking about earlier, you know, when people bring in their car, you know, you do a lot of imports, like BMWs, Mercedes, you know, Jaguars, a lot of the more expensive cars, but you also focus on, like, domestics, and you also focus on, you know, more people people cars you know like yes, Toyotas and Hondas yes we do and when you know you bring cars in you, you do the full oil change but you also do like a full inspection can you just touch up a little bit on that yeah, full we, inspection we check the car from front to back top to bottom belts hoses that wear the tires the thickness of the brake pads what's the freezing point of the antifreeze make sure it's got plenty of we check the, how much water is in the brake fluid uh, front to back all right, that, that sure looks like it's thing. just about, well, maybe not, just about finished, kind of? Yeah, it's close. Okay, and how much oil does this Beamer hold? Eight and a half quarts. I'm not a math person. I don't know how much it is. Okay, but anyway, um, so we got this Beamer up here, and it's just about finished. Now, what's the next step for when we come from here? Well, I'll put the drain plug back in it, and I'll take the oil filter out. And then do we lower the car back down? Once I put everything back together. So we got to put it all back together car will be lowered back down yes. and then we'll put more oil into it. Yes, we will. All right. Well, be sure to keep watching Daybreak because the oil is just about finished coming out and when we come back, we'll be seeing how to put everything back into it and then after that, we'll see where the oil goes into the vehicle. So be sure to keep watching Daybreak. Steve and Meredith, back to you guys. See, my dad always told me when we changed the oil that most oil, oil when we changed oil, <laughs> Most engines had four quarts, but uh -huh. you have to remember that the oil filter itself is empty. Right. You always put a little oil around the, the seal of the filter, so when you put it back on, it seals tight, and you put in more than four quarts because it'll also fill up the oil filter, which rotates and cleans the oil in your engine. Can there. you see me underneath the car no, changing oil? No, I can't see you even in a pair of coveralls. <laughs> it's sad. The colonel yeah. would be disappointed. we got a lot more coming up. Stick around. <laughs>